Hi, I'm Josh Fisher with Fisher's Marina, and we are standing on a 2023 Harris Cruiser 230. This is the CWDH floor plan. What that means is it's a center walkthrough model with dual home seats. On the 230, the front seats are much larger and give you plenty of room to stretch out. You'll notice recessed cup holders in the back of the seats here with USB charging ports. Speakers just below that. Storage under all of your seats. Plenty of storage for all your life jackets, safety gear, and any other way you might have to haul throughout the day. As we come throughout the back of the boat, we'll come here to the back, and this boat has a full walk across the rear deck. Something nice about the CWDH with Harris is there are cup holders here at the rear of the boat. These are nice if you were setting here in the water. You can utilize these here. Or if you are setting on the inside of the boat, and there was two people setting here, you have cup holders there for that person, and you can still reach cup holders out back of the boat here. Again, USB charging ports in the backs of the seats. As we come up through the boat, both of the lounge backs have storage in them. This one does have a trash can in it. This can be easily opened, flipped out of the way, and locked into place and secured with a snap. When we come to the co-captain's area here, you'll notice a nice high back helm seat matching for both driver and co-captain. Easily able to turn the seat all the way around. The co-captain has a little console area here that has two cup holders in it. Both seats are bolster seats, so you can flip that up so you can see above the passengers from either the captain's or the co-captain's position. Storage in the back of the lounger here. This can have a changing room added to it. It does make a great storage area for large bags or even your cover to get out of the way. When we come over to the console here, you'll notice the console on the cruiser is a more compact console. It gives you much more floor space throughout the boat as well as giving the driver all the amenities he needs. The console's fiberglass as well as the door's fiberglass, so both components age equally at the same time. Nice all stainless steel latches and components here. Large storage area, easily slide a cooler in there or some bags to get off the floor and out of the way. As we come to the driver's area here, you will notice plenty of leg room for the driver. Tilt wheel, cup holder right here, stash pad there with USB and 12 volt outlet. Gauges, um, gauge does have a little interface right here that you can have a depth finder on, um, compass and a few other features that are integrated in there and you just function through them with buttons. And that is in your tap gauge. The other gauge over here is a trim and fuel gauge and mile per hour, all GPS mile per hours. Switches are right here. Master power switch is a nice feature on this boat. So when you shut this off and take the key off, everything's off on the boat for the day. Control, nicely placed. Kill lead just below that. And optional glove box just below that. That's lockable. And then we have our cup holder right here. Again, the driver's seat is a flip-up bolster. So I can get up nice and high and see over the passengers that might be in front of me. This is a nice feature when I'm pulling a tube or when coming into the dock. If you have any questions about the Harris Cruiser, please give us a call. Thank you.